After seven years failure, Buhari vows to clean mess in Nigeria before end of tenure. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified or post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. Buhari said this while receiving a delegation of Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, ICANN, led by its president, Mrs. Comfort Olu Eitayo. Mrs. Comfort Olu Eitayo, according to a statement signed by its presidential spokesperson, Fami Adishina. President Muhammad Buhari on Friday said he determined to clean the mess of the country, having made three unsuccessful attempts at becoming Nigerian president. Buhari said this while receiving a delegation of the Institute of Chartered Accountant, ICANN, led by its president, Mrs. Comfort Olu Eitayo, according to a statement signed by President Spook's presidential spokesperson, Femi Adeshino. He was elected Nigerian president in 2015 after defeating Gulob Jonathan of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, having served as a military head of state and returned to politics to serve as a president. After losing free elections, I have seen the system of accountability in the country and the mess to be cleaned up, Buhari said. While adding the contribution of the Institute in ensuring probity, probity, accountability and transparency, the president called for more diligence and professionalism. He assured that his administration will continue to engage experts to gain measurable and reliable results, adding that professionals in various fields, especially accounting, provide the strength and framework for thriving economies. Describing ICANN as a social stabilizer of the economy, the president said he would go through a report and recommendation of the Institute on Inclusivity and strengthen the nation's accounting system for growth. In her remarks, the Minister of Finance, Zainab Ahmed, congratulated the president of ICANN and the new management. According to her, ICANN had over many years played a key role in the domestication of some international policies and the country Adding more interest in Finance Act implementation. As a female president in a male dominated environment, you are an example to a young girls of what can be achieved through diligence and excellence, the minister said. President of ICANN appreciated Buhari and his administration in adhering to best accounting principles and practices to secure and revive the economy, particularly reverting to the January to December budget calendar. Eiji Tayo said the institute had established seven faculties to train accountants in specialized fields, which include forensic accounting. The ICANN president stated that the forensic accountant working with security outfits could be used to reduce the security challenges facing this country by tracking all monies used in committing crimes and payment. Wow. Wow. So after seven years, Oh my God, the headline itself is killing. After seven years, he's still coming out to say that he can still clean up the mess. Like how? How? Buhari has joined the League of Motivational Speakers. It is seeming so. How can someone that knows he has failed the thing is, this government, they tell themselves lies. They believe the lies they tell themselves so well that they think citizens also believe them as well. How can you tell Nigerians you have spent seven years of your time? Seven years. In fact, you are entering into the eighth year and then you're coming out to say you clean up the mess. How? How? He still thinks he's in his second year in first tenure, not knowing that he has wasted seven years of the country's life. <laughs> Sincerely. It's about time those who are learning begin to have serious discussion about the state of the country and advocate for state police. Each 36 state will have the right to self police within the context of the constitution and the federal police acting as an oversight. This is not rocket science. Any country who claims to be practice democracy that does not have a constitution to expire the creation of institution to protect and promote the rule of law is doomed to fail. But unfortunately, Nigeria don't see it like that. Please don't forget to bring back the people that died in the arms hands of terrorists and their armed forces. The thing is, they refuse to get it into their head that 
they have failed. Acknowledging failure in a particular area is not weakness. It's not. Living a lie is. It's like when you know deep down that this thing you're doing is not going to work. But you keep doing it hoping that it will work when the signs are there. Now, I want to believe, and I'm saying this very beating my hand to my chest, that do you know that, um, do you know that, uh, no, as in it is not all ideas that have been used, stones are still left and turned in this issue of insecurity. Do you know there are beautiful suggestions that have been made that the presidency should have carried out before now? But because of lackadaisical attitude, this thing will not work. They were going to talk it down. In fact, I don't even think they actually go in search of solutions. They actually wish that the solution never come around so that I don't know their plan. Since I don't. 415 days left for Buhari and Nassau Rock. And that 415,000 days left is like 415,000 days. Sincerely. Start from lecturers. Let the children go back to school first. <laughs> this man, you are not informed to that you're a failure. Just pray may God not allow any Nigerian youth to catch you for the monthly 5,000 you promised and failed them. Funny people everywhere. That is not even the case. At this point in time, this is not even the case. If we have a thriving economy, we will be expecting, will, will the youth be expecting anything from the government? No. If the government are doing well for themselves, if they are doing what they are supposed to do as the government, they will not. Does he really know what he's saying? Sincerely, I want to believe that he does not. What he couldn't do for seven years, he wants to do it in nine months. What a miracle working president it is to destroy, but not easy to build, because you have destroyed what would take 60 years. I'm telling you, Nigeria has been plunged into a state of progressive decay for the next 50 years. That is why all those claiming to be president are still looking at them. And do you know what it means to be president at this time? Do you know the mess that has been created? Did you know? I don't think you do know. The period has come when APC will be campaigning against their own tenure. Yes, so many people are coming out without boss to saying, you know what, enough is enough. But I'm saying it is not enough. It is not enough. Buhari does say something like that. It is all those cabals around him that is saying what they say. Buhari says what they say, Buhari says. Buhari does not know what to say anymore because they are all, they all know that they are total 100% failed. They have, okay, they have totally failed Nigeria. Sad. On this note, we've come to the end of the year to say thank you for turning into lesson. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.